I'm gonna run. We'll try out. Well, this was the ninja. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a ninja. So we'll do. We're gonna check out the memento one. So still the same um the same thing, but now I don't have the ninja backpack here. So now I have to run four pieces. Okay, I have to absolutely run four pieces. So we're still sitting at uh, 1.3 armor. So that's a good spot there. Um, I'm not going to cover this just yet here. I'm going to get right into the action real quick. And we're going to get right into it. But here, let me run stats here. So stats wise, 60% critical hit chance, 110% critical hit damage, 50% headshot. So you're going to run that right there. You can see all that. And then we got all weapon damage 43%. We don't have an assault rifle, some machine gun damage 45%, 30% shotgun bonus damage. So that's that portion of it there for you guys to look at. Let me go do another one. I'm not die this time. It's the freaking biggest thing. Uh, we could go to new river, we could do Riverside Gas. Or we could do New Venice. Ooh, screw it, we'll do New Venice. So we're gonna check it out. All this stuff, I I haven't even looked at any of this. So we got striker here. What weapons handling? Eh. 10%. I have a lot of these. I'll come back for all this. I don't know, for some reason, my backpack... Uh, the, the backpack is not allowing the momento. Like, you, you should not be able to see this. My thing is like glitched out for some reason. I don't know why. Even if you hit strip slots. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Man, what did I have that? What did I have that? Friendly combatants uh, nearby. Jeez, why did I do that? That was so stupid of me. What was on that? Oh, whatever. Alright, come on. Whoop, wrong way. All right, this is Memento uh, Hunter's Fury build set up. Yeah, see we get. Rogue agent detected. Oh, there's rogue agents. All right. Where? Oh, not no more. Whatever. Control points. Let's check, 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 check it out. Oh, we are right here, man. Danger. Yeah, we're ready here. Where are these guys at? Oh yeah, I did say I wanted to try out the turret. Let's uh, let's see. Yes. Oh, assault turret. Put your faith right, cool. in Emily. Put your faith in Emily. Man, I suck at that hitting these guys, man. Reload. No. 
did. Uh, Stop shooting my turret. Oh, you know, I never called in. Reinforcement. <laughs> I just lost all those stacks. Hostiles guarding location nearby. Incoming hostiles detected. The fire go away. Come on down. Now I'm on fire. Now you're on fire. No. <laughs> Can't go that way. Hell no. Oh, we almost killed him. So that was this build, running gunner. We got same thing, Dark Winter, SMG, Critical Hit Chance, damage to target, perfect killer, plus 50% critical hit damage, 10 seconds, Scorpio, septic shock, okay. Target state additional 20% damage from all sources. That's good. 
Momento backpack is going to be, let's see, so, right, so remember, max is critical hit chance, 60%, 110%, critical hit damage, 50% headshot damage, okay, all weapon damage, 68%, you got 45%, submachine gun, bonus damage, 30%, shotgun bonus damage, and we got, run, Hunter's Fury set up still, four piece, 50% both shotgun and SMG, 20% kill, armor on kill, 100% health on kill. Bad boy, man, this is not fully optimized, so that garbage 6.9% weapon damage, I need to optimize that or get a better mask. Actually, I just got a mask too, hold on. Let me just get a mask. I did just get a mass. Yeah, that's eleven percent. That's a lot better than than what is this? Six point nine percent. Yeah, that's way way better. Then I could swap that headshot damage for um critical hit chance. Yeah, look at that. That worked out. That worked out pretty good. I'll yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll mess with that later. Um. So Apex Predator, 15 meters, enemies receive a, within 15 meters, receive a debuff. That's that symbol you see, Apex Predator, uh, increased damage 20%. Let's see, debuff enemy with your weapon disorients, other enemies within 5 meters. The chest piece amplifies that. Uh, let me see. It does amplify that. I think it, you know, yeah, yeah, it increases the stack, sorry. Increased duration of Apex Predator stacks from 10 seconds to 30 seconds. Yeah, so that's what that does. 30 seconds is huge. But, uh, you got the mass. We know Memento here. Weapon damage, 170k. Plus one skill tier, so you get your three main, main uh, deals on the core attribute. I got critical hit damage on this. So remember the talents confirm kills you enemies you kill drop a trophy on death collect the trophies provide both short and long-term buff so you pick up a trophy you're gonna get plus five weapon damage plus 10 armor and skill efficiency for every trophy collected gain additional plus one percent so that's that's what that is and 0 0.1 armor regeneration 300 seconds maximum 30 stacks so you want to stack that up good Chess piece, Renin is going to be the Grupo, 15% critical hit damage, weapon damage, and everything is critical hit damage, critical hit chance, critical hit chance. Remember, I'm at 60%, I'm at max. And you got Obliterate Talent on there, critical hits increase, total weapon damage, 1% for 5 seconds, stacks up 25 times. That's modified there. Uh, arms here, I got an Armor Core with critical hit chance that's not maxed out I mean, most of the stuff i got is not is not fully optimized yet so um knees weapon damage and critical hit chance and holster i got that uh, modified for armor core and critical hit damage so the biggest reason for doing mainly the holster and the arms or the gloves where we want to put armor cores on those because these guys only have one core attribute and one i'm sorry one core attribute and one uh, regular attribute it only has one versus like the chest piece here you can put you have a total of three so you would waste that weapon damage slot um you would waste that weapon damage slot and then you wouldn't get better damage output from your weapon. So you got essentially one, two, that's like, that's four weapon um, damage cores, essentially. That's what you want versus me just putting an armor core on this one guy and only having one additional critical hit chance core or, or, or tribute. That's why you often see people put the core on this. Unless you're running the freaking Picaro's Car holster. Picaro's holster will have all three. 
And that would be this guy. Where are you? Yeah, I'll be this guy right here. Because you get real haste. You get uh, that plus one skill tier. You get armor and you get plus 15% weapon damage. So that's like the equivalent to the memento, which has all three there. Weapon damage, armor, and plus one skill tier. So like that, some people will run the Carl's holster in, in this holster slot. But yeah, that's all it is. So that's the whole setup there. Um, Scorpio's good. I just tried the turret. The turret's not bad. I mean, it's whatever your preference is. I run the shield. Um, and then I just tried the, the turret. The turret isn't bad. Plus, it's a quicker cooldown, 7.8 seconds. So that's actually not bad. Um, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we do that. That's pretty good. So that's that one. I'm going to try another one. Let me see. I'm always messing around with these builds. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let me see. So we just tried this setup here. Um, I wanted to... I know I, I was messing with the Heartbreak. I think I was. I think it was that and... See, and the strikers too. This is a yeah. I mess with the Borok too. I mess with this. Now, so actually, I think I this good comes with the, the catharsis. Let me see which ones was I working on. I was working on, I believe.